What's up, guys? Welcome back to another... Ooh, my heart rate. Every time I press record on that camera, just like when you're playing the drums for social media, you go, forgotten how to do this, and you overanalyze it all. Um, I'm still... Ne like, I've been doing video stuff for like a good few years now, and it still, still gets the old heart rate going. Uh, but yeah, welcome back to another My First Five Minutes on the kit. Hope you have been well, mate. Hope you've been playing drums and managed to get some practice time in. I know life gets in the way and whatnot. To be honest, mate, I didn't really practice that much this week. I did hmm, two 10, 15 minute sessions, which isn't a lot. Well, actually, it is a lot for me, really. But because of the practice project um, thing that me and Mike Johnston have got going with our podcast, I'm practicing way more. And that is actually quite a lot, to be honest, when I say it out loud. But anyway, hope you have been well. What am I going to do in this video? That was it. Um, I'm going to be answering a question that I get all the time and that is very dear to my heart. A question that I'm going to make many, many videos on inside my Patreon page. Link in the bio. Little, <laughs> little plug. Um, but yeah, uh, a question that is... Sorry, the question is how do you learn rudiments? So I will show you briefly in this uh, little My First Five Minutes on the kit. Um, because yeah, like I said, I can talk about this stuff all day long, mate. It's very dear to my heart because I can't read music. I've got a very short attention span, ADHD, dyslexic, sitting down and like trying to figure out how to get better at the drums when I was younger. And even now, to be honest, I'm like, oh, this isn't, <laughs> I wish I could just read a book. Um, and when I say wish, I, I did try very much so. I had, I, I, I tried to learn mu music, like read it in school, college, and had private lessons just on theory. And it still didn't work. I think I've mentioned this in a few different videos, but I think when you actually land on how you learn as opposed to what you're learning, then like, poof, you get better way quicker. I'm going to talk about learning rudiments on the kit. Uh, like I said, and just another quick thank you really to watching and subscribing. I had a really cool stat pop up um, and like it was a percentage of like subscribed versus new viewers and like new viewers is just going up and up and up and it's mate, my subscribers are slowly creeping up mate. And all that says to me is that these little videos must be one enjoyable and then just help you go play drums and make you realize, not make you realize that sounded patronizing, but uh, help you help you remember that drums are just fun. Drums are many be just fun. And then like balancing that line of like, okay, I want to become the drummer in my head. I'll, I'll give it a little practice. But you know, like this, the whole point of these videos, like I said, without talking for too long, is just to get people playing on the kit, film yourself, share it to the world. Don't overanalyze it. Have a laugh on the drums and you, you'll get better. The more you play, the more fun you have, you will get better. Um, what else was there? I've had like a cool week. Um, I've been doing the backing tracks for Fight Star, which is Charlie from Busted's other band and project. So that's been fun doing that and sort of coming up with intros and mid eights and outros for the set, which is pretty cool. And then, yeah, just about to shoot, just about to shoot a podcast with Mike Johnston, drum with Mike and Eddie, if you don't know it. Link is in the bio as well. Podcast about drums, but more about just life in general, to be honest with you. Um, and what else is there? That's about it. So yeah, I'm going to have a little warm up and a play, like I said, and then touch on my three-step rule very briefly because I could talk about, talk about this all day long for learning rudiments and the best approach that uh, I sort of do over the years and years of throwing stuff at the wall to see what sticks regarding learning rudiments, you know, and also how to apply them. But if you do want more of like the juicy stuff, like honestly, I hate plugging it. I hate being a salesman, but check out my Patreon. If you want to now support this YouTube channel, also be a part of the live streams that I do, the Fly on the Wall series. We go live pretty much like every week or so. i um, going to continue that when we do all the festivals this summer. And then just get like little videos of me breaking down recording sessions and stuff. The stuff that I did for Busted that went number one. <laughs> Any excuse to show these and I will. Um, do you know what I mean? Number one, baby. Number one. That might be the thumbnail, you know. Which one looks better? My son dropped this one and cracked it. Bush. Trying to get the thumbnail live. Probably won't use that. Oh, flipping heck. Just cracked it again. 
I'm only joking. I'm only joking. I'm not that guy. I'm just very David Brent because he's my favorite person. So any excuse to be a bit Brenty and sh pretend I've got an ego is just funny. Um, but probably funny to me and no one else, to be honest, which then in effect makes me look like I've got an ego. Um, but uh, yeah, breaking down like sessions and stuff that I've recorded and talking about why I do things as opposed to why I don't do things and beats I play and feels and all that kind of stuff. And then also just other videos on like, how to learn rudiments and whatnot. And also, like I said, now I'm doing more YouTube pretty much every week. Uh, it just supports that, essentially. Do you know what I mean? Anyway, hope you have been splendid. Let's get into some playing. Let's get to playing drums. And uh, yeah, I'm still enjoying that. Uh, I'm still practicing the singles between my hands and foot. And then I'm also loving the kick right left combination because I want to do that at a few festivals this year. But yeah, I'm still loving all of that, man. So I might be doing more of that up there. Uh, but yeah, cool. Let me know in the comments what you've been doing and what you've been up to and if you've got practice in and whatnot. Legends. Thank you for watching, mate. Honestly, like joking aside, it means a lot. I appreciate it. Hit the thumbs up button, subscribe, tell your mates, show your mates. And uh, I appreciate it, man. Send me links to your pages as well. I want to see you guys play drums. Um, but cool. All right, let's 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 go play the drums. Right. Five minutes on the clock. Uh, right, let's give it a bash. Let's have some fun, shall we? That's cool, that's like 1975 vibes. Pedal, mate. Fell at the last hurdle, didn't I? I was doing so well, I think. It's getting there, though, mate. Getting there. A bit of practice. Singles between the hands and the foot. Yeah. It's getting there.
It's almost at five minutes. Anyway, I'm having loads of fun, mate. I don't want to stop, but I'm going to quickly uh, answer the question that was in the title of the video, how best to learn rudiments. Quick uh, point to make before I do that. I, I, I love teaching. It's my favorite thing in the world. This is going to be really hard for me to like explain within like a minute or so. So I will do an entire video on this inside the Patreon page. And I talk about this all the time. I go live. So if you want more, link in the bio. Um, break it into three steps. First step when learning a rudiment, for me, I don't loop it. All looping does for me is convince my brain that I, I can't play it when I can. I just can't loop it a million times in a row. I think it's all about forming a good relationship with learning. So for example, the six stroke roll, the sixer as I call it, um, play it once and then chill. Just like you can play it, you just can't loop it. Uh, one of my first ever drum teachers used to make me loop until the cows came home my brain would just tell me like, see, Eddie, you can't play it. Like you are rubbish. And that wasn't the truth. I, ca I can play it. I just can't loop it yet. So there's no rush. Just play it once and just chill. Take your time. Get practicing when you're not on the drums. Like we're all drummers. When you open the fridge door, play it then. Ba -da 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 -da. When you're looking for food. When you're watching Netflix at night, there and there play it there when you're driving on the steering wheel ba -da 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 -da. get those little bits of like small consistent practices in when you're not behind a kit and then eventually when you're watching netflix that will turn into two and you'll go oh my god i can loop it now it's starting to make sense it's sinking into my muscle memory so as soon as you can play it twice jump on the kit play it on the snare drum and play it as a feel so like this You're going to have way more fun doing that. You're going to be playing, one, one, you're playing it in context, so in a beat. It's going to sound more musical. You're going to um, not get bored, so you're going to get more hours in, which means, which means you're going to practice it and play it more and, and get better at it far quicker. And also playing it in a musical context, which is super important for rudiments. It's all about seeing that angle. How can I play this? How can I use this? And already playing this in as, as a feel, you go, ah, oh, this sounds sick. I, that's a standalone feel in itself. Now the third step, uh, loop it. This is where muscle memory is starting to sink in and your brain goes, yeah, this is starting to sound really cool. I know how this is going to sound really magical and I want to learn this and I want to practice it and I want to get my muscle memory locked in. So play it as a groove. This doesn't work for all rudiments, but the six stroke roll for me is like the perfect example of how musical it can sound in a groove. So for example, just move. Uh, I'm going to play it on the rim for now because I've got to keep my uh, foot on this pedal down here. That's the six stroke roll. Right there, left, right, right. I can't say that fast. Just loop it. And on the one, add a kick. And on the next one, add a snare. One, two, three, four. I mean, that's sick, mate. So I'm going to play that now on the old hats. Your left hand just stays there the whole time. And then start to loop that. Like I said, teaching is my favorite thing in the world. I don't want to overlook anything, but I want to keep this short and sweet. Uh, if you want more, link in the bio, and I may do another video on YouTube about this. But for example, when you play it and practice it in context, it, within a groove setting, you'll discover various different ways, different tempos, half time, double time, loads of different variations and combinations within one rudiment. And you'll, you'll go, oh my God, this is good. So I'll show you a few examples of the six stroke roll now within a groove. There we go, people. Don't loop. Play it as a feel. Play it as a groove. More to come. Like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next video, mate. Have fun on the drums. It's the most important thing. See you in the next one. Uh, bye.